Hi, my name is Zoe, I am a talking head created by Cambridge scientists, and you may be seeing and hearing me a lot more in the future. Well, thanks Zoe, but let's hear a bit more about your origins from uh, Roberto Cipolla, who is head of the research lab which has created you. Uh, Roberto, what's she about? Well, Zoe, we think Zoe is uh, the interface of the future. Traditionally, when we interface with computers, we're using keyboards and mice. And uh, now we're beginning to use speech as part of that interface. We're already beginning to use to speak to computers and get them to speak back to us. And this is a realistic face on top of that interface. So what have you done? What's the technology that is original here? The technology is to go from raw text, a bit like an SMS message, and convert it both into an audio speech signal and a visual face signal. It's generated uh, live in real time from text, so it's very efficient. Second, it's uh, much more controllable and expressive than anything that's been achieved before. So you've used a real actress. What did you actually have to do there? Well, it was a laborious task over many days. We had to record Zoe Lister for many hours, recounting thousands of sentences to learn the, the model that goes from text to both the audio speech signal and the, the visual face appearance. And the key thing is that she is more real than yep. has been created before. Exactly. You haven't seen it yet, but she's very, very expressive, so we can, we can control uh, a, a much higher level of realism and emotion, both in voice and face. Let's go and have a look at that, then. Bjorn Stenger, you've been working on this project for months. Um, just take us through how she can express different emotions. So given some info text, we've got some basic emotions here. And with these sliders, we can control the degree of each of these expressions. For example, tender, angry, uh, happy. And now we've selected her to speak in a happy way. So let's see. I'm so pleased to see you, I really am. Let's see how happy she is. I'm so pleased to see you. I really am. She did seem quite pleased there, I have to say. She seems to like you. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can make her angry now. So I've had just about enough of this. You've been messing me around all morning. So I slide this up to angry and slide that down there. And then I press this. That's right, yes. I've had just about enough of this. You've been messing me around all morning. <laughs> oh, dear, she's, she's a bit upset. You have to be careful. Yeah, she can be very upset about us. Yeah. Now, she still sounds quite robotic to me. That's right. To some extent, it's still work in progress. So we are improving currently the speech model as well as the face model. So hopefully, in a few months or a year's time, you'll see um, virtual humans that are as realistic as real people. And where might she pitch up in the future? Well, you can think about lots of potential applications. So for example, sending messages to your friends with your face on it having virtual actors or game characters, potentially interfaces with computers, so having conversations with a virtual carer, for example, um, who you can have real conversations with. Well, thanks. Let's see if she's got a final message for us. See you again soon. I think I'm beginning to like you.